bulldozers late. Maybe he got lost. Not like there's street signs out here. Give me the radio. I give him a few more minutes. He's going uphill. Give me the fucking radio. This is why people get paid by the hour. Eduardo, this is Lewis. Where the fuck you at, man? Coming up now. Hitting dense ground. Next time you drive. What's wrong with you driving? I don't have a license. <laughs> you think anyone cares about that? Some people do. Oh, people get riled up about anything. You hear about the loggers up the river? What about them? They got death threats. Locals told them every meter of wood they took, they'd increase the price on their heads. Hold that thought. Hey, Eduardo, come in. Over. Five minutes. Got turned around. Over. I think they're locals, not environmentalists. I assume this is going somewhere. It's not the little guys that are the problem. It's the large-scale ops, like downriver. Money on the ground stays on the ground. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Eduardo? Sounds like he's coming in from the east. You overshot us, Eduardo. Turn around. You read? Hey, dumbass. You overshot us. The hell was that? Shit, move! Eduardo! The bulldozer fell out of the trees. Hey! Are you alright? He's... he's gone. Where is he? Hola, chica. You hungry? Oh, come on. I know it's not much. I'll talk to the man when he gets here. Well, at least you have a clean pen, hey? One less thing to worry about. Oh, weeds are everywhere on the other side of the shack. The man wants me to clean them up this week. Do you like weeds? I, uh... I don't know if you can eat weeds. I told him you need more food. He says it's expensive. <sighs> He's hard to argue with. But I'll try again. Just for you. Sound good, girl? Diego! 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 <sighs> Sounds like he's here. Mr. Vernon. Where is the post online? I haven't seen it. Um, uh, I was feeding Electra, sir. Twice a day. That's what we need. How's anyone gonna know we're here if you aren't taking the photos? You know what the shit people said about us online? Where's a damn phone? Uh, here. Get me that. Hold it like this, all right? What do I pay you for? Christ almighty. My nephew says to hold it vertical. Has to look good. Come on, let's go inside. Yes, sir. Hey! Move here! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Look at the camera! Now smile. There. Takes two seconds. Put that online. <laughs> 
Do before lunch next time, before she eats. Of course, say blood on the cat's mouth. What is it? She looked away. It's blurry. Hey, hey! Look at me! Hey, hey! Son of a... Look at me! Uh, blurry. Where is everyone? Uh, no cars today. Nobody is driving by. Aha! Uh, blurry. Fuck! Lazy animals pay to feed them all day. Can't afford to feed them if nobody's coming. Just like a woman. Hey, turn around! Blurry. You love them like children, but all they do is eat, sleep, and burn through your money. Just like having a child. Never have a daughter, Diego. Uncooperative little things. Daddy, why are you so these cats? Blurry. Fine! You do it! Season's almost over. Maybe it's a name. Do we need a new name? Foreigners mistake sanctuaries and rescue centers all the time. Like they know the difference. You know the difference? No, sir. Figures. A sanctuary is permanent. It's a home for animals that can't go back to nature. A rescue center is a temporary home for sick, uh, injured, orphaned animals. That maybe it's a better name. Oh, hey, girl. Smile. This is a nice one. Hmm. I have two backpackers coming up tomorrow. I want this place shining. When they pull up, Sedata, take their photo they paid in advance. Americans? Of course. My country's full of idiots, Diego. Who else will pay full price up front for this? <laughs> You got a comment! At Shiba.roni says, Been to four countries. Love jaguars. Cat emoji. Hashtag jaguar power. <laughs> Hear that? You're famous. Four countries. I've only been to two. I took Camilia to Medin and Quinto when she was very young. I would have liked to see the Rio Negro and the Rio Solimoes coming together. What about you, hmm? Where have you been? You ever wonder where you're from, Electra? Or maybe you have family in Brazil? Roots stretching back to the Maya. El Aguar Familia. Onca Pintada. A strong and proud family tradition. Daddy, why are there so many stray cats? You know, not many people know this, but they're reincarnated drug lords, paying for the sins. Really? See, even cats have a cartel past. Oh, that one right there? Laundering catnip money. That's Scrappy Davy, cat burglars. He stole sardines from homes back in Buenos Aires. <laughs> that shall be one? Oh, that one is the worst. She's a mobster. But she says everything is perfectly legal. <laughs> <laughs> no guests today, girl. Electra? Electra? <laughs> oh. Well, even the Queen of the Jungle can't escape a bad stomach ache. Is she going to be all right? She's fine. Just troubles digesting. <sighs> Thank you. Diego, question. Have you sedated her recently? Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know, anesthetics like ketamine, meditomidine, they can have long-term implications. And if the animal hasn't fasted before administration, it can lead to things like inflammation on the stomach lining, Reduce gastric motility, stomach ulcers. Uh, the man wants her sedated whenever there's a booking. 
You take good care of her, Diego. I know you do your best, given the circumstances. And plus, not a lot of these roadside tourist traps would be as responsible as you. Where's the darts you use? Uh, over there. Mm hmm. Okay. How do you know the correct dosage? The man wrote it on the side. Of course he did. Listen, this visit is on me. But you need to talk to the owner. None of this is sustainable for her health. These doses can affect the mucus lining of the stomach, and we're talking gastrointestinal status and constipation at best. Damage at worst. And you care about her, right? Con todo mi corazón. Then you need to step up. Tell the owner to knock it off for her health. She's a big cat, but she's not invincible. You need to protect her like she was your own flesh and blood. Like she was my daughter. I'm sorry, Diego. Her birthday is coming, right? Uh, yeah. Next week. You taking the day off? <sighs> the man said no. You know, there's some beautiful white flowers at the markets back in town. She'd like them. I can pick them up if you'd like. That would be nice. Diego, Electra is lucky to have you. The Jaguar has been a symbol of this country for so long. They represent courage, decisiveness, and I think she's trying to impart those blessings onto you. Well then, what's it mean that we drug them up and leave them in cages? It means that people are shitty, Diego. And when we come across them, we need to hold them accountable. Yeah, I'll try. You talk to your boss, stop the doses, and feed her properly. Ciao, Diego. Ciao, Alejandra. A strong and proud family tradition. You scared me, girl. Ooh, someone looks like she needs a bath. Do you ever look at your reflection in the puddles? No, probably not. I sometimes catch you staring off. That million, million, million mile away stare you have. Dropped in that cage. But your mind's somewhere else. It's Camellia's birthday next week. <laughs> you two have a lot in common. Never pays attention to where she is. Too busy chasing butterflies in her head. There's a jungle out there. And a jungle in here. I tell her. Maybe you two should trade stories about places you've imagined going to. She'd like that. Uh, hmm. Maybe you didn't need that shower after all. told the man that you needed blue tarps, not yellow-green tarps, not red-orange tarps. Blue is better for your eyes. Ali told me you see in blue-violet. I told him. Hey, I'm getting wet to keep you dry. Don't you growl at me. There. There. Ha! That should keep some rain off, eh? I didn't see it coming either. What is it? You smell something out there? Huh. It smells like... Like a cigarette put out in a bowl of honey. Hello? Is someone out there? Hey! Come out into the light! Are you afraid of being seen? 
Look, I don't know how many of you are out there, but I'm not taking one step closer. <sighs> Ice must be playing tricks. Oh, crap! Hola, Santiago Jaguar Sanctuary. Why is this country always fucking raining? Yes, it's raining here too. Is the car out front covered? I had to use its tarp for Electra. The hell is wrong with you? That's vintage! Get in that thing rough, throw that tarp over it. Uh, Electra wasn't feeling well. Can you bring Electra her feed? What? No, it's a fucking animal. Feed it sawdust. Keep it busy till we get there. The road out to the sanctuary is flooded. I'm with the tourists right now, and they're furious. I'm gonna take them out to dinner here in the city. That's, uh, generous of you. <sighs> they're paying for themselves. We'll get out of there after this downfall, got it? Have the diva dosed up and ready. Sir, I don't think that's the... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Was that? Hang on! Hang on! It burnt! Hang on, Skyler! Hang on! Hang on! Over there! There's a light! Come on! Come on! Hey! Hey! Let us in! Hey! Help! Help! Hey, let us in! Hey! Hey! Let us in! Let us in! Help! Hey! Hey! Let us in! What are you? Get the fuck out of the way, he's hurt. Where's your first aid? What? There! Move. Safe. It's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. <laughs> we did it. We got away. <laughs> Outstanding. Hey, man. Thank you so. M Lewis. Diego. Roll him on his side. R right. <laughs> Funny finding you way out here. Funny. Just you? Yes. Great. <laughs> Great. What are you doing? There's something out there. It chased us from base camp. We were logging 20 miles away. It jumped all of us. You ran 20 miles? Yeah. <laughs> Don't answer it. Just sit here for a bit, Sky. Think this through. I don't see anything out there. It's out there. We need to get back to the city. That thing won't get us there. I saw a car out front. We could take that. The car? Yeah, the car. You, behind the wheel. Not really another option. You can walk. Every time we stopped, it came out of the ground, tried to drag us under. It got itself around Skylar's arm. That's where the burns came from. That doesn't sound real. You have any weapons in here? This is a zoo. What about darts? Yes. Give me the keys. Uh... Give him the goddamn keys! Take the door on the right. Be right back. Now's not the time to be arguing. 
You don't know what that thing is. What it could do to you. I know what he can do. Santiago Jaguar Sanctuary. Hey, how's the damage? Anything from the rain? Uh, no. N no rain damage here. They are working on the roads now. Tourists are getting antsy. Who is that? Hey, is someone there? Do you have guests? Just people passing through. Hey, there's keychains in the gift shop. Mark them up before they get there. Hey, get your buddy Jose or Jose or whatever the hell his name is on the horn. Tell him I'll pay him for half a day running con- Who was that? Help is on the way. <laughs> That's great. I don't know what Lewis did to you. But he's a good man. Trouble man, but who isn't living at the ends of the earth like this? Now get us out of here. You watch. Yeah, sure. Darts, darts. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me, a Jaguar? Yes. Fuck, man! You just killed the shit out of me! What did you do to that thing out there? What makes you think I did anything? I'm trying to help you right now. It's not my fault. No. The past is in the past, all right? We've all made mistakes. I've paid for mine. If we go anywhere, we're taking Electra. Oh, who is that? I'm not leaving her. Well, you two can stay here, but Skylar and I are leaving. What's that? Oh my god. Get away from the bars! It went under the fucking concrete! It's coming up at the pen! Come on! What? <laughs> Can't go in there! Let go of me! Electra! <laughs> Let her go! Let her go! Go! You're hurting her! Run! 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 Let go of her! Let go of her! Come on! What's going on? We're leaving. Run, run, run! Come on! Lewis! Wait! God, the car! Go to the car! Wait! They... Lewis! Lewis, wait! Keys, keys. Uh, here. Which one? Blue tip. Blue tip. What's going on? What the fuck, man? What's going on? It doesn't work. What? The man is restoring it. It's an antique. Why would you lead me to a car that doesn't run? Come on, we need to... Holy shit. Electra. My girl. That's not your kitten, man. Okay. We just stay here until he gets tired. What did it do to her? Maybe I can hotwire this thing or something. How's this whole junk work? She's still in there. Your little pet is dead. No. I see her eyes. Well. Well. 
He can't get in, and we can't get out, so we wait. Help's coming, you said, right? Yeah. It's getting hot in this tin can. Crack open the window. <laughs> Fat chance. He's just sitting there. Waiting. Yeah. Look at it. It's it's like all the worst parts of the jungle with teeth and bark. <sighs> Got any food or water in here? No. Figures. When did you come back? A few months ago. You didn't get very far. Couldn't find work after the accident. Didn't matter the trial. Couldn't look up my name online or anything without finding our story. Our story? You have a better phrase for it. I just have the worst fucking luck. It's her birthday next week. Huh? Her birthday. Camelia's birthday is next week. Oh. It was raining the day we met you. Camellia didn't like the rain. She was so disappointed that it was ruining our day. So I took her to the El Museo de Sombrias. What's that? It's not anything. Not really. I made it up. An imaginary exhibit of lost umbrellas. We played make-believe and looked up at all the floating imaginary umbrellas. She told me about the blue ones, the yellow-green ones, red-orange ones. Her favorite were blue-violet. I let her play. Lost sight of her for one minute. It was raining and... and she was too busy chasing imaginary umbrellas. <coughs> and then you got out of the car. Thirty-two months. <laughs> they let you out in thirty-two months. It's a hard thing to lose a kid. But it wasn't anyone's fault. I'll get out of your hair as soon as we figure out how. No hesitation. I'm out of here. Never looking back. I'll leave the country. You have my word. El Gato Monstruo. What? Fires and logging pushed jaguars out of their homes. That's why Electra is here. She was pushed out of hers. That thing in front of us? I bet it had a home too. You push and push and other people have to bend. You take away people's homes and they move. You take away what they love, and they cry. But they never push back. That right there, that thing is not my fault. I know. But that's not my problem. It's all yours! I gave you him. Give her back. She is my flesh! My blood! Give her back! Give me back, my girl! Give her back! It's okay. 
it's okay. It's okay. Girl. It's okay. It's okay, baby girl. Daddy has you. You've been listening to Invasive Affairs, a collection of three standalone audio dramas addressing the themes of ecology, invasion, and loss. Oleander features the voice talents of Griffin Poitou as Diego, Kaylin Harbert as Lewis, Stuart Moyer as Skyler, Stephen Zivik as Vernon and El Monstruo, Nicholas Wen as Electra, Dante Amada as Eduardo, Priscilla Bojorge as Camelia and Risa Montanez as Alejandra, with additional voices and sounds by Darian Vorlick, Katie Hageman, Kat Peterson, Jose Berrios, Nina Nikolic, R.J. Bailey, Maddie Opincaro, James Hamblin, Jonathan Fuentes, and Chantal De Leon. Written, directed, and sound designed by Colin DeGraff. Produced by Cold Open Stories. If you want to hear more tales like this, head on over to coldopenstories.com. On the site, you can find our call for submissions, join our Discord chat, and delve into thousands of hours of fan fiction and original stories. If you feel like dropping us an email, you can also reach out to coldopenstories at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening.